For more on keeping the American worker and small business uh, businesses afloat during the crisis, let's bring in Labor Secretary Eugene uh, Scalia. Uh, Mr. Secretary, it's good to see you um, this morning. I want to start with, um, I don't know whether you get to, you're probably busy, but, you know, we're locked at home. I watch these, these task force updates, and I have seen the president more than a couple of times just really take issue with the way questions are phrased uh, by, by people in the room about, uh, about the, the lending facility to small businesses. And he, and st- he wants them to say, gosh, what a great program. I know there's a couple of glitches, but what a great program. They seem focused on, wow, this is just a, a, just a mess and nobody is, it's not working at all. Where's the real answer? What's the truth in what's happening now? Is it, it's tough to roll it out. Has it been done smoothly and is it working the way it should? Well, first of all, I think it's a a great program, a great idea. You know, the fundamental concept here is that we're putting our economy on pause to beat the virus. Uh, We want to keep workers attached to their employer, and this small business program incentivizes that. As you know, it uh, gives you a loan, and the loan's forgivable uh, in large part, uh, provided you keep your workers on payroll. That's the concept. Let's keep these uh, thriving businesses intact so that uh, once the virus is beat, we can spring back quickly to the very strong economy we had. I think it's very impressive how quickly this got stood up. The billions of dollars a day, I think billions of dollars an hour uh, in loans that have uh, come through. So I think the program is, it's up, it's running, it's uh, running well. Uh, uh, Nothing put up this quickly is going to be perfect in every way, but I think it's a very good program that's running well. Do you think that the small businesses that are worried that uh, that if they don't, I, I know you've got to, I think you have to have your taxes done. It, it, it is difficult, I think, to, to get all your ducks in a row if you're a small business, probably. It, uh, should they worry about uh, funds running out? And do you think that it'll be replenished? That's not going to be an issue? Well, I mean, let me say first, it's a sign of w- what a good program it is and how well it's it, it's working in these early days that one of the questions you hear most frequently is, should we expand it? Um, And, you know, we'll see. I think the president has indicated his uh, support, enthusiasm for the program. And uh, I think uh, it's widely believed uh, that there's great value in enabling companies, particularly small business, which employs just about half of American workers. Uh, There's a lot of value in keeping these businesses intact during this, we hope, short period of time so they can spring back. Whether it needs to be funded more, we'll see. Uh, But I think we really want to make this program work so that we can rebound to the kind of economy we had uh, just just a few weeks ago. Do you think that by putting all these things into practice from phase three, are there things missing that that are ne- needed in a phase four at this point, do you think? Could you come up with three or four things that, that we, we might have added or done differently and that should be done if there is a phase four? I, I think what stands out about phase three is how many, how many of the really important bases are being covered now. I mean, we've been talking about uh, the small business program to help keep small businesses afloat and uh, keep them attached to their workers. Uh, we've got these uh, paychecks that, uh, or uh, IRS payments that will be coming to uh, individual Americans within uh, a week or two now, uh, $1,200 an American uh, plus, uh, plus 500 for uh, dependent children. And then the uh, a uh, very generous unemployment insurance program that's been put in place, too. So uh, when, I, when I look at the third bill as well, of, of course, of the, the paid, lead, uh, paid leave entitlements in the second bill, I think a lot of the protections that uh, you'd want workers to have are in place. Uh, they're uh, either up and running or they're about to be launched. And uh, so I think we're, uh, from the perspective of uh, uh, getting the economy back up again in a good place right now, but let's keep our eyes open uh, to see if there's something more we need to do. Do, any uh, anecdotal evidence of, of uh, you know, uh, just the perception of things not being totally fair in terms of the way the banks administer things? Do they help certain customers more than others? Uh, w- would you expect that that type of? Yes, it's it's never perfect, and and you could actually see something that looks like that. Maybe it really isn't, but uh, uh, there's there are no bad actors at this point, in your view. Well. Uh, look, I don't know every detail of that program, and uh, I- I'm not going to say there's, there's not a bad actor uh, across the entire landscape of our economy. But again, I think what stands out about the program is uh, how quickly it got stood up, uh, what uh, strong interest there is in, in the program, uh, and how quickly uh, loans are being processed in it. 
Uh, I think that's a really good sign for what the economy might look like uh, two, three months from now, uh, because uh, demand on the program suggests that you've got a lot of small business people trying to hold on to that business, trying to hold on to their workers so they can be up and running quickly. And I, I think that's all good news. I mean, you are presiding over the most tumultuous period in, in maybe in history in terms of the U.S. labor market. Do you see positive uh, signs or are, are you positive about the what when we're finally through all this, that we can get back to what percentage of of normalcy where we were in terms of the labor market? Would you be pleased with with 75, 85? Do you think? 95 percent or, or and when will that happen in your in your view? And it, it, it's just a daunting prospect, given that we're right in the middle of this. Though I understand that, Mr. Secretary. But what do you think about the future? No, let's aim for 110 um, percent. I mean, you're right. It's been a, just a, a wild swing in uh, what a six week period. We put out our uh, jobs report uh, early in March. Uh, it was just an extremely strong jobs report. Uh, 275,000 jobs had been uh, created in, uh, in, in February, uh, unemployment 3.5 percent again, which was that 50-year uh, low. And, uh, and then uh, we put out a couple of jobs reports last week with a very, very high unemployment number. So it's been a, a really a big swing. But what, what gives me uh, confidence is uh, how strong the economy was. We had policies that were working. Uh, those policies remain in place. And now uh, we need uh, Americans, and it's not easy, but to exercise the kind of discipline and social distancing and the like that the president and public health authorities are asking for, and, uh, and, 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 and then we get back to work. And I think those policies that gave us the economy we were enjoying, they're still there. Uh, we still got uh, President Trump's leadership. So these are the things that give me confidence in uh, our ability to, to bounce back. Uh, and remember, you know, these numbers that we're seeing, the unemployment numbers, they're, they're, they're high and they're painful. Uh, for s millions of Americans, but it's self-imposed. These numbers are different than we typically see uh, where there's some uh, serious underlying flaw in the economy. That's not what brought us to this point right now, and that also gives me some confidence that we can spring back quickly. On September 30th, 2019, as you were taking the oath, it, <laughs> I just can't imagine. I mean, it, it, when looking back on that, you couldn't have had any idea of of what was in front of you. It looked like a pretty good job, probably at that point. Things are, <laughs> are going swimmingly, but uh, whew, uh, how things can change, um, Mr. Secretary. We appreciate uh, appreciate you coming on this morning and updating us, though. And, Pleasure and being with you. Good luck, and we hope for. Thank we're you. We're hoping for 110 percent too. Maybe, maybe 115. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Thank you.